go. 14 0. Starting good. Alright, man. Well, this is not the intro I wanted to do, but here we are on the road, man. I'm out here in Flagstaff, Arizona. See the mountains and all the tools. Alternator went out on me. I headed out today, Saturday morning. I headed out Friday night. And, um, around about like midnight, the battery light came on. So I pulled over when I got to the nearest city, just like Williams, someplace called like that. And then uh, I thought maybe the belt came off or something. So I popped the hood, belt still on. I'm like, oh man, here we go. Like I said, it was around midnight, so I didn't have any places open to go and pick up parts and stuff like that. You've never been to Flagstaff, Arizona. It's very mountainous, very high up altitude, so uh, it's cold. It's really cold. I got here last night and it was 27 degrees. The nearest auto zone, which is down the road, I had to drive from Williams to Flagstaff and uh, hope that it would let me make it, running off just pure battery. And I made it, went down the street to the nearest parking lot. I could park the truck and trailer safely, close to and walking distance of the auto zone. So that's what I did. Now I slept in the truck, man, freezing. Can't let the truck run overnight because it would have died, killed it. I'd have no battery by the time I got this alternator on. So uh, I don't know what time it is now. Maybe the radio will tell me. Eight, eight twenty-five. Saturday morning, it's definitely planning on being a lot further in this trip than this. But hey, stuff happens. But uh, we back rolling now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned about the belt tension, but uh, we're gonna rock with it. She's charging, so I think we'll be good. We're just cleaning up all the tools and stuff now. I gotta go back to AutoZone and drop that core off. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> not the best start to the trip, man. I'm hoping that this is the only issue I run into. We can keep on trucking this thing, sip on fuel, and get us there cheap as possible. You know how it is, diesel life, man. But um, last drive, I was averaging like 12, 12 miles for the gallon, 12 and a half maybe. I think it's doing a lot better now this time. Let's check and see real quick. Excuse my voice, man. They had nothing to drink or eat. Yeah, 14.2. It's not too bad. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish cleaning these tools and stuff up. I'll check back in with y'all later. Then, uh, yeah, hopefully I, when I come in with another update, it ain't with no issues. So, I'll catch y'all later. Give y'all more in-depth what's going on. When I get to my destination, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, yeah. Stay locked in, man. Finally on load. There she is in her new home. <clears throat> Set it a row, girl. It's been real. It's been fun. It's been real fun. Get out here in probably about an hour or so. Kicking it with my boy. This is big block El Camino he got. Bike over there. She a work in progress. I remember when he got this thing, it was bone stock. We used to rip this thing all over base. She came a ways. She came a ways. Too. <clears throat> All right, y'all. 
Check back in in a sec. Jeez, got fast guy Trent T3 in the building. Y'all see stuff in the background in the yard. Y'all know where I'm at. I'm at the compound. I'm at the crib, man. At the parents' crib. Me and Trent out here chilling, talking, man. Uh, as you can see, one more leg of the trip is gone. Y'all out here cooling, man. I ain't gonna be one of those people, you know how they be like, oh, are y'all ready to see it? Are y'all ready? Y'all ain't ready to see it and pan the camera away. <laughs> I ain't gonna do all like that. You know what's crazy though? I didn't even say in the last video that I got another car. I just, I had, oh, I had, I had unloaded the GTO. I got to the crib. I got a video on an empty trailer. I was like, all right, time to go home, y'all. Time to go home. But yeah, no, I'm not, I'm gonna stop playing, y'all. Here we go. C6, C06. Just gave her a bath. This is the next build. As you can see, wheel gap. She's a roller. No engine in it at the moment. I uh, got it this way. I've known about this car for a very long time. Uh, I've been trying to get this car for a very long time. And was able to finally work some out, work a deal out. I uh, gave him the GTO and I got this. So I got this, got some parts to put it back together. Uh, got an engine block, so that's cool. But, oh, sorry if the wind is going crazy. I'll try to like on my hand. But, uh, yeah, this is it. 07, 08, Z06, six speed, all black. She's dirty. Got my work cut out for myself for sure. This is gonna be an experience that we will be taking together because I've done a, a cam on one of these, but it wasn't a Z06. So it's, uh, it's a base model. My homie Flip on his Chop God C6 that he got. We'll say miss that girl. But uh, yeah, I've never had one this apart before. So this will be interesting. You know, it's fine as things where they go, bolts and all of that good stuff. But uh, like I said, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna get it right. And uh, what you think, Trent? Texas 2K? Let's see, let's see. Hey man, we're gonna try it. Yours. Hopefully I got my car back. Oh yeah, man. We're gonna have to get a video of this man stuff too. If you don't know, this is Trent with the nitrous twin bottle. SS sedan all black. I, I posted it uh, on my other social media. I don't think she made it to YouTube. Actually, no, I lied. I think when uh, when my homeboy with the S2K Harris came into yeah. town, oh, yeah. I think it made it to one of my videos when I was recording the GTO. But um, yeah, we're gonna have to put something together when I finally see this car. I haven't seen this car in a while, man. <laughs> he hasn't either. He hasn't either. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. True, true. My boy Mark, you already know, shout out MB Performance. He's doing the build on it right now, getting her together. So, whenever he's done, he goes, he's gonna bring it here to him, and then um, I'll take a trip back down here to come check that thing out. Yeah, yeah we gonna, we're gonna turn up, man. We're gonna turn up. As you can see, there is the new block. I'm not gonna uncover it, but you see it. LS7, seven liter, 427, all aluminum. Uh, I actually have another block here. It's right there next to my bike that'll also be coming back with me. Another build that you guys will get to see. Um, that bike belonged to my uncle that has passed when I was a kid. And uh, that bike was passed down to me. A lot of memories on that bike. I love that thing. And um, it got passed around from family member to family member after I had left for, uh, for college. And I finally got it back. So I'm gonna bring it back to his glory and I'm gonna ride it, man. Uh, I love that thing. That block is junk. I'm gonna turn that to a table. I have to take some stuff out, free some room up. Me and Pops are going to pick up a motor for uh, one of his flips on the other side of the house. So, had to clear out the truck. We're gonna take the dirty, let him see what the diesel life is about. Shout out to old girl though, man. I know I was mad in that other video. <laughs> Uh, Cause I had to put an alternator on it, but other than that, bro, she she did fine. 
oh um i know you see the red zip ties up in there uh one of my stops it was super super windy and whatever state that i was in oh man that front end looks so much better i just cleaned all the bugs and stuff off of it after i washed the vet but um anyways got sidetracked yeah one of my stops i was checking you know and i always walk around check tire pressures and all that good stuff and the fender liners were touching the the tires man so i had to tie them up because the, uh the little plastic trees just wasn't cutting it but other than that and the alternator she did great she did great um this time i learned a few tricks or whatever then not enclosed trailer uh same car so i wouldn't say lighter load but i averaged 15 and a half uh, miles per gallon so not bad good job girl good job but yeah it's a long video man i'm gonna get up out of here check back in with y'all when i get home but say hello to the new baby dang boy that thing looks good oh man i cannot wait this is gonna be a good time this is Real gonna be a good time car. yeah tell them ac and all i got the compressor in the back this one will have ac working the camaro can i was too lazy to get a custom line made i didn't really care but this car power windows radio heat ac you name it she got it it's gonna have it all it's gonna work and it's gonna sound good it's gonna sound good but uh stay tuned man i'm gonna get back you know we're gonna come up with a list of things that we need and uh you know what i want to do with it stuff i want to change and stuff like that and just start bringing it back man resurrection see if we can make it to texas 2k next year i would like to have this thing running by my birthday in december that would be cool i don't know we'll see how things go i got some things coming up you know this year some stuff i gotta handle but we're gonna see if we can work some time in for who knows maybe some stuff around the house will get moved around and uh some stuff around the house to get moved around and get rid of or something like that and help speed this process along but we signing out we out of here y'all be easy stay tuned for the next video